Hello, what's going on guys? Welcome to this tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we, we will learn how we can create uh, Android book applications. So, for example, if you will uh, want to create the uh, book like this, what you see in my screen, so uh, Bible of New Testament. So, for example, uh, if you want to create a book like this or any other book, so uh, in this tutorial, we will learn how we can do it. So, how we can do this. So, be sure to uh, follow or watch the uh, tutorial so for this video so and if you want to download this application so I will put the link in the description below or you can just uh, find it on you can just uh, search it on Play Store with this uh, label so uh, I'll just show you what kind of book we, we have created so you can see that uh, we have Matthew, so chapter one, and we can see that another uh, activity or screen. So we can see it is selectable. We can select, we can copy, and we can share. So you can see. So okay. So without uh, saying too much, let us now create Android project. So open your Android Studio and start with new project click empty activity name will be my new testament book so then save it so it's up to you where you are going to save your project so as of mine I will save it to my drive D so then just click browse and save so after that so choose the language so java so mine will choose java so fei will be i will leave it uh, 16 so but you can choose uh, you can choose 19 or 20 so it's up to you i will use i will you uh, okay so how will you uh, you see, uh, I will define the API, so it's up to you. I will you choose this one. So, after that, we can click finish. Now, uh, so just wait until it will be imported. So, okay, so Gradle synchronizing, choose project instead of Android, so we can see all the hierarchy files uh, wait sometimes okay uh, wait sometimes so synchronizing the project so build successful Okay, so it's indexing. We go to, we go to main layout. So the first layout will be okay, hello world. Okay, so this will be the default default layout. So let's just delete. Okay, so start. Uh, so uh, instead of constraint layout, you can just write. Uh, you can just define nested scroll view. So nested scroll view. Okay, nested scroll view layout. Okay, nested scroll view layout. Okay. Can just remove this line. Hmm. Elements will be, uh, but let me just rename it. Uh, okay, let's let us leave it like this. So, so we need to define a few buttons inside of this uh, uh, view. So, as you can see here. 
so if you will try to look at my screen so you can see that we have a button so this all of these are buttons so we need to define our button so now we need to go back to our Android studio and define some button elements so you can just drag just drag the button, so standard button, you can just drag. Okay, uh, okay, so button will be ID will be BTN1. What? Okay, ID will be BTN1. Text will be okay, so okay, so. Let us just leave it like this and we will fix it later on. So, rough content, and then so we need to copy and paste. So we have more buttons. Okay, so okay. So my system is lag. What happened? We, we, we just need to copy the button. So we need to copy 28 times 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. 18, 19, 20, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 28. Okay, 28 since Matthew has 28 chapter. Okay, now we need to uh, replace the ID. So, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm just renaming the ID power button. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, so 21, Seven twenty-eight. Okay. Now we need to get back to see our button. So okay, our button will be rough content. Instead, scroll view will be so text will be replaced. So orientation will be instead scroll view orientation will be. Vertical, vertical. So we have button. Okay, and we need to put it to our lin to linear. So our button will be linear layout, linear layout, match parent, rough content. Okay. Orientation and vertical. So we need to have button and button one. So right for the text. Okay. So now we go to our. Okay, we just close and go to our. So nearly out. 
and the port manually the linear layout will be uh, by closing the so scroll down and scroll down and linearly out okay so we go here so we have unstitched scroll view button so now okay so now if you try to look at my our books So we have an instead scroll view, but so we have scroll view, the scroll view. So uh, we need to put padding. So we will select all of uh, so it has already okay. I will just select all the button, okay. So select all the button and uh, put padding with five. DV DV so adding maybe 5 dB and margin will be 5 dB okay so text will be text style will be uh, bold and italic so italic okay size will be 24 okay so now so just check the time so uh, I think the we need to fix it in the next video so we have now uh, time elapsed 12 uh, so thanks for watching guys if you like this video please be sure to subscribe to support my channel and so if you want to follow this tutorial so also uh, click the notification bell so whenever I upload a new video so you, you will get notified okay so I will see you in the next video so we will uh, we will uh, put a, la a label so, of our book so bye for now